The next two videos you will see are going to be on time of flight diffraction. This video is going to be on the concept of TOFD and the process of calibration. And the next video we will give you a demonstration of the TOFD technique. TOFD technique is a weld inspection technique. The main advantage of this technique is that it's really accurate for sizing flaws in the weld metal. Let us now discuss the concept of TOFD. TOFD consists of two probes with one placed on each side of the weld which is shown in this figure. So here the weld is right here, this is the weld cap, the weld root is here, the transmitting probe and the receiving probe. They are placed at a distance called PCS which means the pitch catch separation distance. The transmitter illuminates the weld and these are the signals going and then if there is a flaw, for example if there is a mid wall flaw, it diffracts the sound to the receiver which is probe number, this is the probe R here. So let's go through this flaw here, this is a mid wall flaw. The sound comes in, it's diffracted from the top tip, signal 1. The sound comes in here, it's diffracted from the bottom tip, signal number 2. And then there is a reflection from the bottom of the weld, which is the back wall. And then these are all received by the receiver. In addition to the three signals, we have another wave called the lateral wave, which kind of skims on the surface of the part. So, from all these waves, we get a A scan display here. This is the lateral wave. This is the top of the flaw, the bottom of the flaw, and the back wall echo. Now, how do we calculate the size of the flaw? The size of the flaw is calculated using basic trigonometric formulas and using delta t, which is converted to the distance using the velocity of the sound and the PCS, the, the, the trigonometric formulas are used to compute the depth of the flaw as well as the size of the flaw. Now one issue with TOFD is the lateral wave. The lateral wave has a certain width to it and because of that width it shadows any flaws which are just below the top surface and this area is actually called the toft dead zone. I'll now be talking about the calibration process for TUFD. TUFD requires a very specific type of calibration block which is shown in this figure. The figure shows uh, two sided holes and one notch. The diameter of these holes is 2 millimeters. The depth of the notch is also 2 millimeters. This block is, uh, this is an end view of the same block. You can see that the holes are not drilled through wall. Their depth is about 20 to 40 millimeters from the end here and uh, the depth of this hole is very important because this hole validates whether there is detection below the dead zone. So this hole, which is hole number one, is machined about 4 to 6 millimeters from the top surface to assure that this can be detected and it's not shadowed by the dead zone by the lateral wave of the dead zone. And in addition to that, the size of these holes which is 2 millimeters, is very important because our goal is to make sure that we can size these holes down to 2 millimeters. So that assures the sizing resolution of Toft. So what we are doing, we are achieving two things. One is the validating the detection below the dead zone. So we put a hole right here, which would be this hole, and then we make the size to 2 millimeters to confirm that we can actually size this hole to that this size. Now, the process of calibration is as follows. The probes are placed here, and uh, where there is no flaw, and at this point, you, all you should get is the lateral wave signal and the signal from the back wall echo. Then, this probe pair is moved from this flaw free zone to the calibration signal which is from here to there. As soon as this probe set goes over the calibration holes, 
then we see the signal from hole 1, 2 and the notch. Now from each hole we will see two signals, the top of the hole and the bottom of the hole. Now what you can see here is that the separation between these two signals decreases as the holes get shallower and shallower. So this hole actually is the most challenging one to detect and the most challenging one to size also because the, the time separation between these two is the minimum. So if we just have a calibration block with this hole and this notch that is not doing the job. You definitely need one hole right below the surface at about 5 mm depth. And uh, now you can see here this is the signal from the top of the hole the bottom of the hole. Once we can resolve these two signals the top and the bottom and we can detect this signal which is just behind the lateral wave then we are assured that TOF can actually detect the holes as well as size the holes. So that completes the calibration process. In the next video we will give you a demonstration of this calibration and also give you a demonstration of the inspection process. Thank you.